over to Representative Ruben Gallego. Who's here? Uh, Tom Swasey. Tom Swasey, folks. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm not used to this Washington thing yet. <laughs> I, uh, listen, everybody knows the border's a problem. The Republicans have been pointing out that the border's a problem, the border's a problem, the border's a problem. You ask them, what's your solution? And they say, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a really big problem. But what's your idea? It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. So uh, I just ran for an election up in a high, hotly contested race up in New York, and this was a big topic of the campaign. And during that race, I made it clear that I would support the bipartisan solution that Matt was just talking about that was proposed in the Senate. You couldn't ask for a more conservative, ethical, intelligent Republican than James Lankford, who did everything he could to find a compromise with the Democrats, Chris Murray uh, and uh, Kirsten Sinema. And right now, we've got a situation in our country where the people that are standing here as part of this caucus are saying, we're going to do everything we can to come up with a solution. And I, for one, support the solution that was proposed in the Senate. I'll, I'll support any bipartisan compromise that will actually get this issue addressed. But the Republicans refuse to actually move forward because President Trump has told them, don't, we don't want to give Biden a victory. We don't want to give him a win. We want to campaign on the chaos. Well, that's appalling. That's the most irresponsible, most cynical thing you could do in politics. So. Uh, this group is going to work together to try and work with our colleagues to try and figure out how we can get the Senate bipartisan compromise or something like that to the floor and voted on because we believe that border security is a real issue and we believe it's our responsibility as members of the United States House of Representatives to actually solve the problem. Not just talk about the problem, but actually solve the problem. I just want to point out one important thing that the press has not reported on enough regarding uh, the Senate bipartisan compromise. Everybody talks about the 5,000 people a day, 5,000 people a day, 5,000 people a day, and the Republicans say, we don't want 5,000 people a day. Please understand that the 5,000 people a day of asylum seekers, which when, comp when, the, when the system is improved with more border agents, more immigration judges, more wall, more detention centers, uh, more money for states like mine and cities uh, that I represent, uh, to address the micro crisis they're facing, all those different things. We're also speeding up the asylum process, which now can take three years, four years, five years, in some cases, 10 years to resolve. Under this system proposed in the Senate bipartisan compromise, those cases will be resolved in a matter of weeks. So the 5,000 people that apply for asylum, 90% of them will be adjudicated to not be eligible, and they will be sent back right after that few weeks period. So 90% of 5,000 or 4,500 people will be deported soon thereafter their adjudication. So it's not 5,000 people a day, it's 500 or less people a day, and it'll address a whole bunch of other issues that we face in our country with this backlog. So I want to thank my colleagues for uh, recognizing how important this problem is and for agreeing to work to try and find a bipartisan compromise to actually solve the problem. And I want to thank uh, Co-Chairman uh, Henry Cuellar for inviting me to join this process. Thank you.